Hello my fellow Wasteland Wanderers, it is me, Yesenia, here today with a Get Ready With Me video using my new latest palette which is going to be the Club Babaloo palette from the I Love Lucy Collection with Besame. And if you want to see how I like the other products, go ahead and check out my previous video that I have right here on my channel. But I'm going to go ahead and use this palette today just to show you guys the performance of the shadows here today. And here is the palette in its full glory. It is so cute. I am absolutely in love with this packaging. It's gorgeous. It is so pretty. It feels like I have something vintage in my hands. I love it. And I still haven't taken off the little film thing on the mirror here, but this is what that looks like. And these are the colors, and then it comes with a little brush. And to first start off, I'm not going to go ahead and use the palette itself. I'm going to go ahead and set some translucent powder on my cheeks in case I get fallout. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my Wet n Wild Photo Focus powder, translucent powder. We got the powder. Eyeshadow now. Pull that off. I'm going to try to do something not purpley because my, I immediately want to use the purples, but I feel like that's too, too predictable. I'm going to go ahead and now I'm going to take this color here, McGillicuddy Roots. It's a little powdery as soon as I put my my brush in there. So it's a very neutral kind of my skin tone color that I'm going to go ahead and apply. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to take a little brush that I have here. And now what I want to do is I want to go in with this color here. Ricardo Rose, which is like a nice peachy tone shade. And I want to take that and I want to just place this all over my lid. I'm still taking that same shade, Ricardo Rose, and I'm just like applying it, sweeping it all over my lid, just making sure I get everything and kind of blending at the same time. nice soft color so we have that all over the eyes now now I'm gonna go ahead and use this shade right here on the corner called Lucy's lilac with the little another little brush I just want to build that color in the crease it already looks pretty guys aren't going to hear him and I'm going to keep this segment in the video but my boyfriend's like, like right here watching me He's happy for me <laughs> get you a man that supports you in your endeavors and I'm just also running that color along my lower lash line too and I'm just going to build this until I'm satisfied with the way it's placed I like these shades because they're not fully saturated and fully opaque from the get-go as soon as you dip your brush in there, which sometimes could be a problem if you don't really know how to use eyeshadows or you're just beginning or you're just too scared to go fully dark. It's really nice that these are very sheared out and you can build them because it is building quite nicely so that we can control how you want the pigment and everything and you don't feel scared putting on these eyeshadows. And also, I know that these are supposed to be like soft washes of color, which I'm happy about too. So that is what we got going on on this eye. So now I'm going to take a seam, semi, semi, semi clean blending brush. And I just want to blend the outer corners of this. And now that I went ahead and made sure that the outer portions of my crease are blended, I'm going to go ahead and take this one. I think it's called Merty. It's M-E-R-T-Z, I think. Mom. Now that I went ahead and made sure that the outsides were nicely blended out and everything is really, looking really, really cute, I'm going to go ahead and just deepen up the outsides of my crease a little more and on the bottom as well. That is blending out really, really nicely. 
nicely and layering really nicely. It doesn't feel like it's all of a sudden a punch of purple to my face. So I'm loving the way that that looks. We have so far on the side. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing on the other eye. So we have the two eyeshadows here. I was able to layer that up really nicely and blend it really nicely. Again, no skipping, nothing tugging or anything like that. Or, or not that the shades didn't want to go ahead and blend into each other. But now what I want to do, because I kind of want to deepen it up just a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit. I'm going to go ahead and take Mertz Mauve and I'm going to take Salesman Blue. And I'm just going to deepen it up just a little bit more. And if you feel like maybe it's just a little bit too deep or anything like that, you can always go in with the shade Lucy's Lilac or McGillicuddy Roots and just go ahead and blend the outer edges of what you just did. And then for even more further blending, you can always go back into the eyeshadow blending brush that we used and just make sure that everything is nicely blended out. If you feel like you're kind of losing this orange color that we have here, what I like to do, you can go in and take the brush again. I'm just going to go ahead and stamp this again with my fingertip, to be quite honest. So now, what I want to do is, you can use the brush if you like. I'm honestly just going to go ahead and use my fingers for this part. But you're going to take the shade Babalu right here, and I'm going to go ahead and pop that into my inner corner. And that is the shade Babalu. That was really nice to pick up on my finger. It's not too overly glittery. It's just like a really, really nice shimmer. And I just went ahead and applied that in my inner corner. That's what that looks like. And I feel like it looks really nice. I like the way that these colors are looking. But I really like how the light blue is going against the nice orange because blue and orange are really nice complementary tones. I also like the way that orange and purple looks because it's kind of like a sunset kind of effect. This is not in, this is not in any way, shape, or form a sunset eye look because I'm not going to do that. <laughs> but it's just to show you the, the colors, how they can go with each other and how I did add the dark blue, the, the navy blue into the outer corner. So I feel like it goes nicely with the light blue that we have going on in our inner eye corner. But so far, the performance of the eyeshadows are really nice. I'm happy that they're not powdery, that they're not patchy, but I didn't expect it to be like that at all. I have the Bessemer Cosmetics Peter Pan Mermaid Lagoon palette, and I love that palette. That palette also has a very beautiful light blue eyeshadow color in it that every single time I wear it, I always get complimented on, and everybody's always like, what is that blue? And this is just the nicest blue as that one in that palette. And I really like the colors that we have going on here today. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my eye look and give you guys a overall review on what I feel about this, this palette or just kind of tell you guys about it. Okay, and this is the finished eye look. I went ahead and I used, just to tell you guys, I used my Bombs Matte Lash Mascara. And then for eyeliner, I used a mixture of my KVD Vegan Beauty Tattoo Liner with Schwing from the Bomb for my eyeliner. And that is the finished look. Out. I really really am so happy with the way that this turned out it's very soft which I really like because it's not like in your face punch of color it's still really really nice and colorful more wearable I want to say like if you want to wear this to work you can go ahead and do something like that which I definitely will be doing <laughs> it's really really pretty and I like that you can have fun with the colors here I know that typically when you see something like this you just want to go ahead and, and kind of like group some of these together like you just want to group the purples together maybe the blues together maybe this together because you're gonna just get like a very straightforward eye look like a more wearable everyday eye look but you can also just have fun with this palette too I don't feel like it's limited to certain eye colors like I got this today and I feel like it looks really fun I feel tropical I feel really pretty and I still feel like it fits in with the decade too which is the most important part of this palette is that you want to stick to the decade 
so I feel like I have all of that with this and I really am just overwhelmed and happy with the performance of these eyeshadows. I like that they're soft, that they're washes of color, but they perform very nicely. They don't skip on me, they don't do anything like that. So I am 110% satisfied with this packaging, this palette, everything about it. The eyeshadow brush may be something different. I feel like maybe double-ended or a little bit bigger for people with like bigger eyelid space. I feel like would be really nice. But you can still use this in your inner corner if you don't want to use your fingers like I like to use my fingers. You can definitely get use out of these brushes. And also too, it doesn't say Besame or I Love Lucy or anything like that. So it's just like a little tiny regular eyeshadow brush. But I am in love with this palette. I love this. It's for your everyday wear, but you can also have fun with this. So it's very versatile. And look at this package. I just, I just can't get over this packaging. It's so, it's so pretty. And the box that it comes with is, it's beautiful too. You obviously get two nice things in here. I'm just 100% satisfied. And I really hope that you guys like today's look. I feel like it's very vintage, but fun. <laughs> Anyways, that is the look for you guys today and just to show you guys how to use this eyeshadow palette if you want some ideas, if you want to kind of stray away from the regular grouping that you would get something like this. I feel like it, this is really fun and safe. If you're too scared to try out colors, this is safe. But you shouldn't be scared to try out colors, you should do whatever you like. <laughs> Okay guys, this is the finished look. If you like this video, please go ahead and like it and subscribe. Don't forget to comment and I'll see you guys out there in the wasteland. Bye! When your mom interrupts your videos to give your boyfriend chips and not you. Toodles. <laughs>